Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Best Kept Plans. Today's video is going to be a plan with me for the week of July 11th through the 17th, 2022 and my B5 Archer and Olive notebook. If you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. Here we are inside my B5 Archer and Olive notebook. I'll be using my Micron, this Pentel Energel, as well as this Tombow marker, and these three washi tapes for this week's spread. To be totally honest, I just don't have the time to do a big involved spread with ink and stamps and stencils. I love doing spreads like that. I'm actually pretty obsessed with my jelly fish spread from last week but it's just not something that I have the time or energy to do this week. So I'm going to keep it much more simple and I'm not even using a bunch of stickers in this week's spread. Uh, I'm just kind of trying to keep it as pen and paper as I can and I am incorporating some washi tape because I haven't really used washi tape much in this planner. Here I am just lining everything up to uh, separate the left and right pages of the spread uh, into four boxes. That way I have a box for each day of the week and also a box in the top left corner which I have been utilizing recently to put the uh, month in the week of the year in and do a little bit of deco. Once I fill in this line here, we will all be all done with the kind of skeleton or base of the spread. I am going to start out with this Tombow dual tip brush pen and I am using the brush tip side to create um, basically little blocks of color that I will be writing on. Um, I'm basically using the color to, I don't know, like draw attention to certain things. And as you could see, I kind of referenced a spread I had done a few weeks back, which I did not do a plan with me for, uh, where I used mild liners and a very similar kind of layout to what I'm doing today. Here I am just writing in those lines for each day of the week. I am using the grid boxes on the Archer and Olive paper to make sure that there is some uniformity going on um, with regards to how long each of the lines is. And it's actually funny because you can see changes to the color of the marker uh, if it is going over ink on the other side of the page. I'm not sure if those dry uniform or if those like darker areas stay there, but I don't mind them either way. I'm just going to write over um, this pink, these pink areas anyways. Now that I have all of those pink areas down, I am going to start out with writing June in the top left box of the spread. I am using this Pentel Energel for that. Uh, I believe this is either a 0.5 or a 0.7. It might be a 0.5, but it does write a little bit thicker than the pen that I like to use to write in my planner, which is a Muji gel pen in 0 0.38 millimeters. So when I'm doing kind of like you know, headers or things that I want to draw a little bit more attention to, I like writing with this Pentel Energel, and I actually use it a lot in my reading journal. Here I am just writing in some numbers to indicate that it is the 28th week of the year, and again, referencing my spread from last week to make sure I'm filling in the correct dates for each day of the week. I don't know that there's, I don't know where I came up with the, I don't know, fonts, I guess I could say that I utilize for this spread. Um, for the numbers, I just kind of went with what felt natural, but also a little bit decorative. 
Um, as you can see, my twos specifically have a little bit of flair to them. And then with regards to the uh, letters, I oftentimes go with kind of like a script font or like a bouncy kind of modern calligraphy style font. But recently I've been wanting to kind of vary it up a little bit. And I've been using this, I don't know, it's a mixture of like lowercase and uppercase letters, letters that are really small, letters that are a little larger, just whatever seems to fit naturally for me. Um, now I'm making my way over to the right hand page of the spread to work on um, Thursday through Sunday. And as you can see, I keep making sure that I'm not messing this up. <laughs> Whenever I'm writing things into my planner by hand on my own, I tend to mess up dates or days of the week. Uh, so I am continuing to like look back and reference what I've already done to make sure I'm doing the correct uh, date and correct day of the week on these uh, separate headers here. I absolutely love this color Tombow that I did use for the um, background of the headers for each day of the week. I have done a spread like this similarly, I think it was in early June, and I used the same Tombow and just kind of fell in love with the color. It's not too bold or bright. It has a little bit of a pastel vibe to it, and I just love the way it looks on the page. Here I am doing the last day of the week, and unfortunately, I spelled Sunday wrong. <laughs> Instead of doing S-U-N, I did S-A-N. So, you know, didn't make it through the whole week without an error, but that's okay. Now I'm pulling out my washi tapes to add some in on the top left box on the left-hand page of the spread to add in a little bit of deco. I'm pulling in this kind of mauve grid washi some spotty dotty washi and then this uh, self-care washi tape which is from the coffee monsters co i am obsessed with this washi tape i'm obsessed with a lot of the washi from coffee monsters co but i very rarely use it which is why i tend to try and resist when she has new washi come out um it's just not something i get a lot of use out of so as much as i love it um, I almost feel guilty when I spend money on it. <laughs> uh, I did feel though like this spread was kind of a perfect, uh, perfect week to incorporate some. I have started trying to get back into a skincare routine. I was really diligent about skincare probably a year or so ago. And then with time, things just slipped off and I haven't really been following a specific regimen other than using like a specific face wash that I really love when I'm washing my face. So I thought having a focus on self-care would be good for this week uh, to try and maybe get myself into a bit of a um, skincare regimen. <laughs> now I'm pulling in this quote sheet from Alicia Michelle XO. After laying down the washi, I just felt like the spread needed a little bit more deco and so these uh, book-related quote stickers seem like a good idea. Um, they're just simple black on clear paper. So I'm putting one of them down on Sunday. And then, um, and I did have to move that piece of Spotty Dotty Washi because the black and the washi and the black and the quote were just combating with each other a little too much. Um, and now I'm trying to figure out what quote to use in this top left corner. And I initially pulled this one out, which is a really, really cute quote, but I just didn't like the way it was going to look in the box. Ideally, I would have had a quote that was kind of very narrow at the top and then widened towards the bottom, but that wasn't an option. So I ended up going with this one. Again, just wanted to add a little bit more deco to the spread. Now I'm using the fine tip of the uh, tumble dual tip brush pen to add in little lines uh, to mark off my work schedule. I'm also using tiny pieces of the Spotty Dotty washi tape to indicate that as well. 
A lot of times in the past, I have used different washi tapes to indicate different offices that I work in, um, but I didn't decide to do that this time around. I instead just went with Spotty Dotty Washi for every day of the week, along with that thin uh, pink line. Using the, the like, I guess more fine tip of a marker, whether it be a Tombow or a um, Mile Liner, is an idea that I have gotten from April at Mom and Crafts. She does incredible spreads. I'm kind of obsessed with her and her planning style. She is hands down my favorite planner to follow on Instagram and on YouTube. And she uses thin lines a lot like this to indicate um, her her boys practice schedules or um, her workout schedule things like that so I thought it would be a good idea to do the same and then I also thought it would be a good idea to use the thin line to indicate any uh, events or appointments or things that I have during the week and I usually like to put those things towards the bottom of each block so here I am I'm making two lines the longer one is for me to write down my work meeting the shorter line is for me to write down the time the meeting is and as it turns out that's actually the only event I know that I have going on this week with that my spread is complete I hope you enjoyed this plan with me as always please be safe bye bye